Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here at Raccoon Creek State Park. And let's uh, see what we find. We had a pretty good snow over the night, as you can see. Uh, probably got about eh, an inch or two of snow. So, we'll see how, how it turns out. Personally, I think it's uh, absolutely gorgeous out right now. Couldn't ask for better weather. It's about 33 degrees, or you know, the rest of the world probably about zero Celsius. And let's just see what we find. And I apologize if the audio is kind of eh on this uh, little episode, because I'm wearing too many layers right now to really mic up correctly. And I figured putting the uh, foam dead cat on the GoPro to reduce the wind is probably the way to go today. It's about one o'clock on a Monday afternoon. Camera settings we're starting out with are shutter speed 1,000, aperture 6.3, and ISO 1600. And on the Z9, we are going to be shooting 20 FPS with uh, auto area subject detection and focus. And I already see some kind of loon duck out there on the water right now, so. We're just going to take our time with the motor and see if we can't get a shot or two. This might be our lucky day because there's a big raft of some kind of ducks down towards the breast of the dam. The two on this side, like common mergansers. We're going to go over here to this raft of ducks and see what they turn out to be. They're just so far away it's hard to get a proper... Uh, ID on them. Kind of flip flopping between mergansers or loons. Let's take a little video to show you guys the view that I have right here. This is just honestly gorgeous. <laughs> that was just the coolest thing right there. Oh my god, was that better than paddling. We were probably... Let me just shut the motor off for a second. Oh, maybe not. Ooh. Took some pictures, flipped over to video. Try getting some video, slow motion 4K 120 right there, as the mergansers flew in front of us. What I wanted to say was it was so much easier having the trolling motor run while I was panning with those birds. I didn't have to do a whole lot of twisting. I didn't have to hurt my back doing it. I didn't have to do yoga in the kayak. That was just, oh my God, that was awesome. Those photos turned out so good. And we were probably 150, 200 feet from that flock of merganser. I think that was merganser. And uh, I guess they just didn't like us being around. We weren't even close to being like spooking them or anything. I highly doubt they could even hear the trolling motor that far away. Let's turn around and head down the lake. See what we get. Sorry, big bird up in this tree. big hawk or something up in this tree. Looks like a Cooper's hawk in snow. He's way up there at an odd angle though, so. Oh, there he goes. I wonder if he's messing with ducks. way down there by the beach. We'll see if we get down there or not. Let's uh, get out of the wind here real quick. No one likes cold winter wind right in the face. So if 
feels like we got a little bit of rain or mist or something going on right now, so that's a little annoying. So we're going to come around the corner up here. There's some ducks in the last bit of the lake here, and we're going to see if we can't sneak up on them. Well, that's disappointing. What I thought was ducks at a distance was actually the buoys for the swimming area. I thought they took those out of the water this time of year. And I apologize if the, like, the field of view of the camera, the GoPro, is like all over the place because uh, it's like raining a little bit, so I have to keep like occasionally wiping down the front lens so the camera moves around a little bit. So if it's doing that, uh, that would be why. We're gonna lift the motor out of the water a little bit, see how far back in we can get under electric power. So we made it to the back of uh, the lake. Didn't really come across anything, so we're gonna turn around and head back. And as you can see, it's too shallow for the motor, so we jumped over to our backup. Good old paddle. Seems we got deep enough water, so back to the motor. I guess me lifting out of the water unscrewed one of the terminals, so but we're good to go. And it is raining. Wonderful. many Morgans are here today. I'm a little confused by it, to be honest. Still not as close to any birds as I would like to get for a good photo. So far, anything that's like... It's all pretty good, but it's not like immaculate that I would want to like, you know, frame or print or put the calendar or something. Also, excuse the giant airliner flying overhead. able to reach back and turn the kayak. I think we got uh, some decent little clip there. Of course one of those situations where I wish I would have just taken photos from that since they were close enough for some decent shots. So we've turned around from the bottom of the lake come back up to the top of the lake by the breast of the dam and we're going to go to the other boat launch over here turn around and then go back and uh, be done for the day so maybe we'll get some good shots in the last few minutes that we're out here shoot at one duck 20 others fly off in a different direction i guess that's just how uh duck hunters feel So if you enjoyed the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate that. Comment down below, share it around to all your friends, tell them how this crazy guy was out in the middle of uh, January in his kayak with a motor, taking pictures of wildlife. 
and uh, you know, the weather doesn't always agree with you, the animals don't always agree with you, but at least it's uh, nice just to be out. It's better than sitting inside or being at work. And this summer I might get a little get-together, maybe on a weekend with other wildlife photographers, maybe a marine, go out in the kayaks, take some pictures together, have a little fun meetup with some local people that I know. And if you're interested in that, drop me a line in the email or comment down below. I do have a second seat in the kayak, so if you want to go along with me or you have your own kayak, bring it along. It'll be a good time. So until next time, I wish you the best of luck out there. Keep warm. And uh, I'll see you around.